Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Greg Michalowski from ForexLive.com. Today's date is May 11, 2016. I'm going to take a look at ranges and how they can help you in your trading. So let's take a look at the euro versus US dollar. What do we have here? This is a uh, this is a hourly chart of the currency pair and I'm going to focus on this week's trading. If we take a look at the high price for this week coming into today and the low price coming into today, the range for the trading has only been about 61 pips. 61 pips. Now we can see that in trading here today that range has been extended. Let's put that aside for now. But what we know is that today is what? Wednesday. Wednesday is the midpoint of the week. So we've gone through a, a half a week with only a trading range in the 60 pip trading range. How does that compare to history? Well, if we go to the weekly chart and take a look at the weekly chart here, um, and it, um, I put an average trading range, an ATR, an ATR with a period of one right here. And uh, what does that tell us? That tells us the ranges for each and every week. So if we were to go to, uh, let's say, this week right here, uh, this range uh, would be this amount of pips. And so you can see on a relative scale what the ranges are for um, each trading week. And we know that this week, we came, or today, we came into the trading day with only a 61 pip trading range for this week. And we moved more than halfway through the week with only that trading range. So the chances are, folks, that we're going to extend that trading range. And why is that? Well, if we look back in history and look back over time, and uh, we put a line here at the 61 pip trading range, has there been any trading week going back to June of 2013 where the range has been less than 61 pips? And the answer is no. So do you expect that this range this week is going to remain so low? And the answer is no. So what does that say about the potential for this week's trading range? To be extended. Which way is it going to be extended? We'll get to that in just a second. But what I want you to understand is that when you have a historically low trading range, don't bet that it's going to remain that low look for those opportunities where the potential exists for the range to be extended. How far can it extend now? Well, if we look to the lowest trading range of 2015, it was this week right here. And this week, the trading range came in at 127 or so pips. In the lowest trading range before this week was, uh, for this year, was 123 pips. So if we were just to get to the most narrow trading range this year and last year, so over the last two trading years, we would have a room to roam up to about 127 pips. That would just get us to the lowest trading range for, um, for any week over the last two years. That's a pretty, uh, pretty decent move from uh, going from 60 pips to 127 pips. That means that we'd extend the trading range by twice the range that we've had this week. So is that worth doing? Yes. Now let's go back to what uh, where do we do? Do we go long or do we go short? And if I were to look at the hourly chart here and trading here today, what do you notice here on the hourly chart? Well, you see the blue line that represents our 100 hour moving average. And as soon as the price moved from below the 100 hour moving average to above the 100 hour moving average, the, the, the momentum is more to the upside in trading here today. But once the market moved above that level, what did we see? We saw new buyers come in. We saw the price move um, to the upside, sharply to the upside here. And we saw the range extended above our prior high that we saw on Monday. So traders right here, took that leap of faith and said, we're going higher. And they started to buy the market right there. How far can we go? Well, that um, remember our uh, lowest trading range uh, over the last two years, about 123 to 127 pips. So if I were to map out from this low right here and assume that the low is in place, it would take us all the way up to this level right here, all the way up to the 114.84 level. That would be our target on the top side for the euro versus US dollar if the uh, bias remained more positive, okay? If the bias remained more positive, we have the potential to move up here. So are you surprised that traders bought above the 100 hour moving average, probably risking around this much on the trade, this yellow area right here, for the potential to move up to this level right here? 
No, I'm not surprised at all. And that's what they did. So now um, it's not all clear sailing up to that level. You see this yellow area right here. This is going to be the, the hurdle, the next hurdle that we need to get to and through. Also need to get above this green line, which represents our 200 hour moving average. Now, what does this yellow area represent? I'm going to go to the daily chart. I'm going to take a look at, um, again, history. I'm going to look back in time. And uh, this yellow area right here corresponds to that wider yellow area on the um, hourly chart. It's between a level of 114.35 and 114.65. If you go back in time and you take a look at these swing highs through here, what do they all have in common? Well, they all peaked in that yellow area, with the exception of here is only one day above and then it started to move to the downside. Now, when I say peak, what do they do after they hit that high? They move sharply to the downside, 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 sharply to the downside. Relatively pretty decent moves to the to the downside. Now, um, there have been instances where the price has moved above it, like right here, right here for one day, and right here in the last in the current month, we moved above that 1435 to 1465 level as well. But uh, that was only six trading days where the market moved above that yellow area. So that's going to be our next hurdle on the top side here for the euro. For those traders who went long right here, they need to see the price move above this 1435 to 1465 level, the yellow area right here. And if we get above that level, the 1484, it's going to be a pretty pretty easy cakewalk up to that level. And that would just get to our 127 pip minimum target for where we think the euro should go. So the point of this video here is to understand that ranges, knowing the ranges, knowing the historical ranges, knowing how the range for a period fits in into a historical perspective is important for your trading. It can often give you tra great trade ideas, great trade potential if you see a bias switch, especially uh, you know bias switch from more bearish to more bullish. You can take advantage of that, risking a little and hoping that the market ex does extend, extends that range. And has uh, and we what we know, do know is that there's room to roam. And so take advantage of that. My name is Greg Michalowski. If you like this video, make sure you click the thumbs up. If you don't like it, click the thumbs down. Also, feel free to share it as well. All, um, finally, at the bottom of this post, you'll see a box that says, subscribe to our email list. Click that list, put your email email in. We're going to start working on getting more emails to your inbox so that you have a historical perspective of some of these education videos that are going to make you a better trader. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.